Hello all. Uh, let's start with today's topic. Let's welcome to the eight zero eight six programming. And now, in this today's session, we are going to discuss about a simple program for displaying hello world string on the console. So as we are going to do the coding for eight zero eight six, the platform we are using here is an NASM as an assembler for 8086 okay and what is our today's agenda display the string hello world on console right so for doing that first check the structure of the code when we are going to write a code code is just going to split into two sections first section is where we are going to keep the uh, constants constant in our case is the string hello world is my string i want to display so the constant we are going to take in the section dot data area okay and the actual code that we want to execute will be in the section dot text area so this is the second section so when we discuss about the code hello is the name of the a string with the type of data as a db hello world is the name given for the string and comma 10 is the newland character once the string has been allocated we must need to also give the length because the value we want to display on the console so how many characters you want to display on the console that should be known to you so length equates it's an uh, directive which will assign the value dollar minus hello so in this case the first address h and last address d we are going to minus these two values and we are going to consider that for knowing the total number of characters available in the particular string yes now second thing once the string has been allocated the length is known to you now in section dot data we need to write a code for system write call this is system write call operation so for doing a system write call the 32 bit registers eax ebx ecx and edx are required so eax is nothing but giving an idea i want to do the system write call so ex comma 4 is the instruction for that ebx is equal to 1 for std out operation ecx is expecting the pointer where the string has been sourced or uh, kept that is hello and edx is nothing but it's the length how many characters you want to display on the console will be shown in the edx so these values has been allocated as we are going to execute the code in ubuntu platform it's a linux kernel so to execute that system call we want to pass the value int ath also we can write as a int 0x at both things are acceptable over here so once the system call has been executed the string hello world will be shown on your console so in the front of dollar prompt it will show the string hello world okay now still you are in the execution call system write call so we want to come out of that system exit call so for exiting from the this system call we want to pass the value as eax comma 1 and ebx is not required so just eax comma 1 is enough and just pass this with the int ath this is a one way to execute the system exit call or just xor the content from the ebx and then call the value ex is equal to 1 and take the int ath call once the code has been executed you will see the output as a hello world and it will come out of the scope of the program if you don't perform this step it will give you an a segmentation fault okay so just go through the execution steps and just verify whether the code is working according to given parameters or not so just uh, let's dive to the uh, execution of the code
this is the code structure G edit is the editor hello.asm is the name of the file just what we have written over here this code just we have discussed so I am going to close this code here and we want to execute that code so for execution phase we need to first do the assembling part so for assembling pass the command nasm minus f elf is the extension minus g to generate the uh, debugging code minus l to generate the list file execute that part and for loading the file to convert to the executable ld minus m elf underscore i386 is 32 bit instruction hello.o is the output file generated from the nasm assembling step and convert that to the executable file name as a dot slash a once this step has been done now we want to execute the code so dot slash h e l l o hello that's it so in this way uh, a short and sweet code that is a uh, executing the hello world string on the console we are done successfully so if you want to do some modification in, into that code yes we can do that instead of having a, a single string you can go with the multiple strings hello world welcome to this world or any string you can pass over here okay thank you for attending this short video of hello world using nasm have a nice day